Now, when thinking of some of the oldest surviving species in the world and naming a few off the top of your head, it may be a little bit difficult. Well, we're about to show you one of these survivors. It's a fish related to the sturgeon. CBS 19's Matt Lacker spoke with a paddlefish expert on why they're reintroducing this ancient species into Caddo Lake. Looking at a full-grown paddlefish is like looking millions of years into the past. Its most prominent feature, a nose called a rostrum that makes up one-third of its body. It's a species that is around 350 million years old and makes its home here in East Texas at Cattle Lake. There used to be six different species of paddlefish on the planet, and now there's only one, the American paddlefish. They're filter feeders. They don't eat other fish. They eat or bugs. They eat um, plankton. And they don't have any bones to speak of. Executive Director of the Cattle Lake Institute, Laura Ashley Overdyke, is an expert on paddlefish and is working on introducing them back into nature. In the 1970s, Texas listed paddlefish as a threatened species, and just a few years later, they were gone. They died out in the lake because a dam was put in upstream to create Lake of the Pines. And when that dam was put in, it almost completely stopped flows of water to Big Cypress Bayou and Caddo Lake. Starting in 2014, a few dozen paddlefish were released into Caddo Lake with radio transmitters to see if they could survive. The experiments were such a success that they decided to launch a full-scale restocking effort with us and putting 14,000 fish in for the first few years uh, and then 10,000 fish a year after that to try and get to a sustainable population. While these numbers may seem large, Overdyke says it's a relatively small number of fish being introduced, but it's grateful to all the people who are helping bring this ancient species back. We've got your coverage, Texas. Matt Lackritz, CBS 19. 14,000 fish were put into Caddo Lake on September 2nd, and they'll keep adding this number to the population for the next few years.